there are three clinical manifestations of glomerular diseases. 1. Nephritic syndrome. 2. Nephrotic syndrome. 3. Chronic glomerulonephritis. Nephritic syndrome is characterized by inflammation and thinning of the glomerular basement membrane and the occurrence of small pores in the podocytes of the glomerulus. Glomerular injury is primarily due to neutrophils. The main characteristic of nephritic syndrome is hematuria, blood in the urine. By contrast, nephrotic syndrome is characterized by proteinuria and other symptoms that specifically do not include hematuria. Other symptoms of nephritic syndrome. High blood pressure, hypertension, decreased urine output less than 400 milliliters slash day, oliguria, red blood cell casts, pyuria, and mild to moderate proteinuria, swelling of the hands, feet, and or face. Periorbital puffiness caused by salt retention, sodium retention increases plasma hydrostatic pressure. Diffuse rails, crackles, may be hurt at bilateral lung. Clinically, dysmorphic RBCs are present with irregular membranes. RBC casts are a key finding, 50% minus 80%. Occasionally, white blood cell. Tubular function is intact. While the classical presentation of nephrotic syndrome is, excessive proteinuria greater than 3.5 grams slash day, low plasma albumin levels, hypoalbuminemia, less than 3 grams slash L, generalized edema, and hyperlipidemia. Causes In children and adolescent IgA nephropathy, children who recently had an upper respiratory tract infection. Post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, PSGN. Hanoxurin line purpura, HSP, Hemolytic uremic syndrome most cases occur immediately following infectious diarrhea caused by a specific type of E. coli. Adults. Good pasture syndrome, systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, autoimmune disease, immune complexes that deposit along the glomerular basement membrane and cause glomerular inflammation which leads to a nephritic syndrome. Rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, infective endocarditis, cryoglobulinemia, Antibodies that are sensitive to the cold can become activated in cold. Membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis, other oncosmal vessel vasculitides. Treatment. Main goal of treatment, regardless of the underlying cause, is to control elevated blood pressures and reduce active inflammation in the kidney itself. Fluid restriction to minimize edema, a special diet restricts sodium and potassium. Administration of antihypertensives and anti inflammatory medications, such as steroids or NSAIDs. The prognosis depends on the underlying cause. Generally, the prognosis of nephritic syndrome in children is better than it is in adults.